here with Coach Ducharme and uh, the Moose had split the first two games on the road this past weekend with a 4-1 loss in Acadie Bathurst and then a big 6-5 overtime victory in Charlottetown on Saturday night and maybe let's start with that loss uh, in Bathurst and you know, tell me your thoughts on the game. Well I think the, the, the score doesn't really show uh, the kind of game it was. Uh, you know, the two goals they scored on their power play in the first period really made the difference. Uh, I thought five on five, we did a good job. Uh, but, you know, it was uh, one of those games, the first game, a little bit of butterflies. Uh, uh, you know, we had a lot of young players in the lineup and, uh, you know, we couldn't come back. But uh, it, it was a start where, uh, you know, we could uh, take that and uh, uh, improve on it. And uh, that's what we wanted to do uh, Saturday night. Losing Jesse Lucier to a broken wrist indefinitely, that obviously hurts, but is this maybe a golden opportunity for some of those young players to step forward with increased playing time and prove their worth? I think it's a challenge for uh, the old team. Uh, yes, we had, uh, and we have uh, young guys uh, on our D squads, but uh, uh, it's a challenge for everyone on the team just to you know, to play a better collective game, and that's what we did on uh, Saturday night. And Ryan Falkenham, the captain, off to a hot start with three goals and an assist. What can you say about having him back? It must be great just to see him healthy and on the ice again. And just to have him in, in the lineup, having him in the locker room, he's a, he's a great athlete. He's, a, he's handling himself like a, a professional, and uh, it really helps, especially uh, right now with the young guys that we have, uh, and, and to see him you know, getting back in games uh, and and scoring some goals, uh, you know, he, he deserves it because he works uh, so hard to get back. And we've got the home opening weekend on the way with the Moncton Wildcats on Friday and the St. John Sea Dogs on Saturday. Uh, tell me, what do you do to prepare for the Moncton Wildcats? Well, we we always do it the same way. We, we want to get better from one game to the other. And that's what we did from Friday night to Saturday. And... And now we want to take Saturday and make it better. Uh, and uh, obviously, it's going to be a different, uh, different thing. Now we're p opening at home, and it's nice to be back in front of our fans. And uh, our young guys are going to be uh, excited for sure. So we got to control that. We need a, a good start uh, establishing our game, and then from there, uh, you know, uh, making it better for them uh, throughout the game. And the St. John Sea Dogs are on Saturday night. What type of team are they? What do you expect from the Dogs? A young team, but uh, with a lot of uh, new guys. Uh, so playing with the energy, and uh, there's, they're always a team that uh, competes hard and, and uh, you know, show up for a good battle, and uh, that's what we expect.